How's it going everyone? Carmine here and you're watching another episode of Super Carmio. In this episode we'll be taking a break from the FDRX7 build and jumping back into the Miata real quick to install some aero catch hood latches. Now the reason why I wanted to install these is just to have an additional peace of mind just because we did remove some of that hood structure when we installed those intercooler pipes and I figured it'd be a good upgrade to do now um, just to get ready for the future when I do install a carbon fiber hood. So they should be pretty easy to install and they look great since these are the flush mounted ones. So let's get to it. So uh, the first thing you'll do is just pick a spot you want to install it. And most people will run it where the existing bumpers are right here. Um, however, it is a little close to the intercooler piping. So I am going to pick another popular spot, which is behind the headlights. Um, if I do take this to the track, I think I would add another two in the front somewhere just uh, for an extra peace of mind. But uh, I think this will be great for now and also add some more security even though we're still going to also keep the stock hood latch. And these are just kind of those same rivet type fasteners that hold this into place. So you just want to pop them out. Then we'll install our hood pin. Um, it comes with two nuts and washers per side but you'll basically thread one on top that's going to go above the hole like so and then one on bottom um, don't worry too much about the bump stop right now you'll probably have to adjust it anyways then on this side you'll probably have to remove the three bolts that are holding those coolant rays on um, just so we could leave a little room to install the hood pin on this side Then we'll put a dab of grease on each pin so that we could see where it marks up on the hood. And that's how we'll know where to drill our hole. And there are our marks. Pretty much where we expected where those bump stops were before we drill. We'll center punch the hole. Now you have your hole and you're just gonna line up the catch where your hole is, center as best you can. And you basically you just, I'm just gonna mark the general area where the latch should be, the inside part of it, with the marker. All right, using that initial mark right here, we'll just orient the back end plate like we want it. And then we'll trace the inside diameter. And that will basically be where we make our cut. And don't forget eye protection and a respirator. And here's what the cut looks like. Uh, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be either, just because you have a little bit of a margin around the plate. Um, but uh, just do your best to make it as accurate as possible and smooth and you should be good. And next, we'll just have to cut the underside, this uh, support area right here, so that the mountain panel will be able to lie flush against the hood from underneath. Now all that's left to do is to drill six holes so that we can mount this latch. mount you'll basically have your backing plate right here and you'll put the included nuts on the bottom and then from the top you have these allen keys that are going to screw into that nut through the latches and then finally you'll hold this top nut in place as you tie in from the bottom to get this hood pin all tied up and I also want to mention that I did cut some threads off over here um, just so the Bolt didn't go all the way down so that it wouldn't interrupt with the coolant reservoir right here. Um, so just made that quick little adjustment. And there's the final product. Uh, 
All right, now we gotta do that all over on this side over here. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this episode. We got those latches installed smoothly, and I think they look great. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I did want to make another announcement and uh, mention that we have surpassed 500 subscribers. So I am extremely thankful for that. So thanks, everyone. As always, if you're liking the content, press that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.